everybody, and welcome to the Christmas edition to, of Sonic Talk for 2019. This is actually episode 602, and in fact, uh, we're kind of early because it's just the way that it falls, because Christmas is actually on uh, Wednesday, so this is the last episode that we can get in before the big day, uh, whether you celebrate Christmas or just having a break. Season's greetings to you all. And uh, now I've got a few things to sort out in the housekeeping, but we'll introduce our guests first uh, because this is going to be a quiz. So you have to listen very carefully to the instructions uh, because we really want to uh, make sure it works. It's the first time we've ever done it and um, and it could work or it might not, but it should just be fun. Let's just uh, let's just hope that that's the case. Uh, First of all, in the blue corner, we have Mr. Rich Hilton, who's uh, he's in Texas, uh, I believe. Is that correct? Come in, please. Deep in the heart of Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. And you're doing uh, a bit of uh, chic duty, presumably. Yes, we are closing out this leg of the tour with Cher in arenas here in the U.S. and Canada. And tonight, uh, tomorrow night will be the last of that leg. And that tour will resume in March and April of next year. And I'll go home on Friday. Nice. So you're back for Christmas and they get a bit of a break. Well, lovely to have you, Rich, no and I hope you're going to have fun. Uh, and we also have Mr. Matt Hodson, maths, 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 at maths, maths, uh, producer, uh, educator, and uh, artist, live performer. He's there in his new studio. That's looking good. I like the way you've got the lot, the top line of the monitor and all your cases pretty much on the same, same uh, well, oh, yeah. more or less, ish. And and quite realise that, but yeah. Uh, maybe it's a bit of OCD good. going on. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, lovely to have you, Matt. Uh, have you broken Cheers. up for the Christmas break yet, or is it? Uh... Uh, yes, we have. Yeah, we're all broken up now until early January. Um, do you want to have? Do you want a really bad Christmas joke? Yes, please. Uh, so, who's Rudolph's favourite pop star? Beyonce. Oh, oh very good. That yeah, that's yeah, that's almost, bad, isn't it? That's that's almost a sackable offence. But it is. Shall I, I just get my it. coat? Okay. <laughs> and um, we also have a visual representation of Gaz and Robbie who are desperately trying to sort out audio problems. I don't know if they're going to make it back, but we have to crack on because uh, we've got a lot to get through. So this is the quiz. The quiz is uh, today's effort. Um, now, the idea with the quiz, we've got five rounds. Each round, there's one point per question. Uh, we can't do half points or anything, so it's going to be a bit vague. Each round has its own Google form. So the starting Google form, let me just paste this into the chat room. Uh, so this is round one. I'm going to paste it into the YouTube chat room. I'm going to paste it into the IRC. But basically, if you go to bit.ly slash Sonic 19 quiz, all uppercase, one word. Uh, oh, and we have Gaz and Robbie, yes? No, we don't. We don't have any audio. I'm afraid we can't hear them. So, uh, so I'm. So I'll carry on with. The, so, so that's where you need to go. So we're looking at Bitly slash S Sonic nineteen quiz. So that's what we're trying to uh, to get you to go to. And the quiz will look something like this. Let me see if I could just bring up the uh, the page. Uh, each page is basically ten questions, apart from the picture round. Uh, let me just show you what this looks like. I'll bring this over to the web browser. That's probably the easiest thing. So uh, the web browser is here. So it'll look like this. So quiz round one, and there's a link to a picture round as well at the top of that, which you can start anytime you like. There's 10 pictures. We just want to know each of the synths. Uh, we need your email address, because if you win, and we need your quiz name. And both of these things need to be the same through all of the rounds. Each round has a separate Google form. That's the only way we can really do it. And it's supposed to be a bit of fun, so please don't get too uppity if we miss it out. So the idea is we're going to do 10 questions, What round one, talk for a bit while hopefully it gets marked, and then we'll have a leaderboard in real time on the screen. This is just placeholders in there at the moment. So that's the idea, assuming it all works. If it doesn't work, Enjoy the quiz and see if you get any questions right. But we have prizes uh, from Audio Damage. Chris Randall very kindly said uh, 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 one of the two winners uh, will have a top winner and a, a, a position. I don't know whether how we're going to do it yet. I haven't figured it out. But Audio Damage make fantastic plugins and instruments. You can choose any one of their products. And the other prize is from GeForce Software, uh, Dave Spears, who can't be with us this week. Uh, you could choose any one of their products as well. So there's two products up for grabs. 
as prizes. But it's not really about that. And if you're listening on the audio version, then you can't participate because I'm going to close each round as we finished. Otherwise, it will get a little bit complicated. So I know that's a lot to take in. But if you just kind of play it by ear and figure it out, we'll, we'll see how it works. Now, I don't think uh, Gaz... Uh, oh, look, Gaz is looking very frustrated at the back of the room. There's some serious faces there. So I'm guessing perhaps... We might have a, a, a no-show on those guys. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll, we need to crack on. So, um, I suppose we'll do a round and then might, we'll see how this works because we might have to expand or collapse it in terms of timings. I want to say also thank you very much to our show sponsors. Uh, we, we, we will be running the competition for uh, Isotope. You could win a copy of Ozone 9 Advanced. And, of course, there is indeed... Um, uh, Splice, who are offering a free 30-day, uh, one-month uh, account. All you have to do is follow this URL, which is uh, on.splice.com slash 36F capital X. I, uh, yeah, you're going to have to put that in the show notes. It's not very easy to read out. I did, I did hope that it would be a bit simpler to understand that. But if you're looking on the screen, that's the URL you need to check uh, for your Splice 30 days of free sounds account, which they've got millions and millions of sound packs there. It's actually a really cool resource. So... Shall we start with a round? I'm going to start with the first round, which is a general knowledge. Is everybody ready? I'm looking in the uh, chat room. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen is all of these will come in uh, at once, the answers to these questions, so they don't come in one at a time. So round one. Is everybody ready? I guess these guys aren't ready. Uh, Matt and uh, Rich, I hope yeah. you are ready. We're, we're, I'm not quite sure how we're going to interact during this, whether we just have a bit Where of... Where am I going to enter these answers? Sorry? You. Where? How am I going to contribute answers without ruining the question? Uh, how are you going to contribute answers? Or do I just sit back and wait for the assembled multitudes to provide them? Uh, well, I'm going to round. I'm, I read the answers up once I finish the quiz. I mean, you're welcome to enter the quiz. I think it's fair that perhaps uh, we don't. You can't win it, just you know, just in, in fairness, all that. But if you want to enter, uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, the link should be in the chat room and also in uh, YouTube uh, chat as well, if you need to okay. grab it. Okay, so let's start with with round one. Uh, round one, question one. So, uh, okay, a 6 dB filter is also known as... Now, I, I'm going to say this once because I think people in the chat room will probably start spouting answers. Don't put your answers in the chat room. Put them in the form because then you'll enter the... Into the into the spirit of it, Rich has a question. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll say that question again. So, question one: A six dB filter is also known as what? Okay, that's question one. Question two: Controls which are more sensitive at the extremes are known as what? Controls which are more sensitive at the extremes are known as what? Okay, question number three. This is round one, question three. This is this would be this is a bit of a fun one. How many synthesizers are Behringer actually shipping? <laughs> so we want to know we want to know the number of synthesizers, remember, that Behringer are currently shipping. Okay. Uh, number question four. What do LFOs and mental health have in common? Question number four, say that again. What do LFOs, low frequency oscillators, and mental health have in common? Okay, uh, how many, uh, question five, how many envelopes does the hydrosynth, this is the ASM hydrosynth, how many envelopes does the ASM hydrosynth have in total? Oh, good question. Thank you. Okay, now here's, now here's another one which is for you long-time listeners out there. Uh, this is how, uh, sorry, who were the guests on the first ever Sonic Talk? Two names. I'll give you that much of a clue. Uh, who were the first guests on the ever, on the first ever Sonic Talk? Okay, so that takes us to question seven. Question seven. What are 16th note delays at 120 BPM in milliseconds? Now, this is for you old school people who used to have to calculate tempos uh, 
delays, sync delays, we used to have little lookup tables and you used to maybe remember them. So this is a, this is a question that will perhaps uh, flummox some of you. What are 16th note delays at 120 BPM in milliseconds? Okay, question eight. What word links both Bruce Willis and Artoria? I'll say that again. Question eight. What word links both Bruce Willis and Artoria? <laughs> okay, uh, right. Question nine. What was the name of Vangelis's 1975 studio? What was the name of Vangelis's 1975 studio? Okay, and the last question, question 10. How much was the Jupiter 8 at the time of its release? Uh, this can be in uh, dollars, yen, or pounds. I'm looking for the price of the Jupiter 8 at the time of its release. How much did it cost? And we'll be a bit flexible on this. You know, you could be sort of within, I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks. So, you know, it's obviously if you if you said like 11,099 or 12,000, we'd accept that or 11,900. But that's not the answer, by the way. So uh, once again, how much was the Jupiter 8 at the time of its release? Okay. <sighs> right. Okay. So that's the first question. I, I don't know. How, like I said, this is all completely new to me. So obviously, uh, Rich, you, have you got questions there? Have you got answers there on a piece of paper? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, that was my first sort of general knowledge round. Um, I'm hoping that uh, all of you get, I, I mean, when we're, that I think somebody wanted clarification on question three, which was how many synthesizers are Behringer actually shipping? I just want the number of synths. I don't need to know the model numbers of them or anything. Just just the actual number of synthesizers that Behringer is currently shipping. That should just be a number. Okay. So uh, while so now, if you're all ready, folks, uh, then uh, you need to uh, hit enter, and your form will be submitted. We'll start to see the entries coming in, and then we're oh my goodness, here they come. How many have we got? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. So we got yeah, okay. So uh, as they come in, we'll give it a bit of grace here because what we want to do is make sure that uh, all the answers come in. Because what I have to do is I have to sort of turn off responses because we can't go back and keep going over this. So it's it's a little bit, you know, there is there are limitations to the way the quiz goes. So uh, while we're talking uh, talking generally, um, uh, oh yeah, that was the one thing. Did you did you see this, Matt? Well. Did you see the Behringer uh, Eurorack thing that came out? Yeah, it's it did, actually, man, yeah. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? That whole, yeah. um, that the size of it and the, uh, I don't know well, what it costs. Yeah. It doesn't say the TBC that, but I mean. It's the price we still don't have, is it, at the minute? And it, oh, a lot no. of people are saying it's a similar shape to the, um, is it the tip top one in terms of its dimensions and stuff like that? It looks looks like it's it's similar to that one. But um, yeah, it'd be really interested to know the price on this one. Indeed, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I suppose they also mentioned that there's a few uh, sort of Moog-ish, uh, you know, modules they're looking to kind of do in the in the. Uh, well, why wouldn't they? I mean, they've done they've done the Poly D and the Mono the, the Model D and stuff. But so I mean, it'd be very yeah, interesting well, if they come into that. I mean, I, I want to see some uh, some some ones that are actually. Um, uh, <clears throat> what am I thinking? I want to see some ones that are actually, you know, new, like some digital stuff, maybe possibly. Yeah, I mean, they did they did do all the Sister One Hundred ones, didn't they? As they're that was their original announcement. Um, and then and then there's a couple been cropping up on Modular Grid, which is a great website. If anyone's not been on that website, modulargrid.net. And uh, the, the 923 filters just popped up by Behringer, which is the, the Moog 923 clone. It's a high pass and a low pass. Um, but it would be great to see them doing something of their own. Uh, but having said that... Um, I think the mo the Model D in the Wasp um, is all all fits into a Euro rack in terms of its its sizing. So you could yeah, actually. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the depth like. was too high. Yeah, it was it, it yeah. was a very met I don't know if you saw that, Rich. It was a kind of Euro on tour, I guess. But there was a very meta. There's a Behringer unboxing their own product video, which actually was you know sounds ghastly, but it was actually quite good. The guy, the German guy that does them, is is really good. He's got a good presentation style, and he was uh, halfway through. He's, he's putting the whole thing together and going. Yeah, we can cut all of this. This is going to be so boring. There's, we're going to cut hours and hours out of this video while he puts it all together. But uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. So uh, I just want to. Right. Our, our product room, uh, a learned chat room. 
Mr. Puricelli, uh, says that it will be a hundred dollars. Sorry, sorry, what would you say? Uh, apparently, it's going to cost one hundred and forty-nine dollars. Wow, that would be amazing. well. Well, there's also they're all trying to figure out whether they're going to do sliding nuts in it or fixed rails, and uh, which is apparently going to up the price if they do do that as well. So. Uh, which, interesting to see which, what they which do. Which count do you fall in? Which count? Sliding oh, definitely. Or, or fixed? No, no. Sliding, man. No, no. Been there, done that. It just, That's horrible, it, no. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It, it offers a little bit more flexibility, but I'd rather I'd rather just have an easier life. <laughs> I know. What I do with, with sliding ones, what happens is every single time you when you when you open them all up, you've always got loads of nuts underneath one that you want to, you want to put on the end and then you've got to take everything out and then realign them all up. It's an absolute nightmare. I, Rich, is, this is probably a, a problem that you don't have to uh, deal with on a regular basis uh, in terms of Eurac <laughs> nut management, but uh, yeah. Nut management. Uh, no, it's not. I'm going to resist every single joke. Okay, right. So uh, the qu the quiz qu the round one has closed. Uh, the quiz round has closed. So uh, we're going to be moving on to round two uh, just shortly. I think I can maybe let's see what happens. I don't know how the how the marking's going. I'm still uh, I'm still waiting with the the. Oh, it's getting there. Look at that. People are. I think we're there. So uh, we're going to check the scores. Scores on the doors. Let's see who's there. So, uh, oh, we've Ooh. got lots of people. Wow. Were the questions that hard? My goodness. I'm I surprised. think they were pretty hard, man. There were was a they? Few, I am so there. sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, well, um, I am sorry about that. Yeah. But, but okay, so now I'm going to give the answers because this is the way we're going to roll. Okay. So, okay, question one. The answer is uh, a 60B filter is also known as uh, uh, panelists. Do you, uh, what would you say? You could join in one here. Pole. One pole. That is one correct. Pole. One point each, gentlemen, uh, if, you're, if you're marking your own scores. Okay. Uh, controls. Question two. Controls which are more sensitive at the extremes are what? Mm. No. Nope. Logarithmic. Logarithmic. Rich, Hind Rich oh. is there. Well done, Rich. That's a, another point to you, Rich. Currently, you're halfway to the leaderboard uh, uh, with just two questions gone. Astonishing. Okay. <laughs> I know this one's a difficult one. How many synthesizers are Behringer actually shipping? I mean, because you basically have oh, to count dude. them all up and then look online. You know, it was a little bit, uh, it's a little bit unfair, but it's a bit of fun. So I have it as uh, 12. Uh, 12 is the answer because uh, I've got the DeepMind 12, DeepMind 6, DeepMind 12 Desktop, Neutron, Crave, MS-101, Odyssey, K2, Model D, Pro 1, that's uh, 10, uh, VC340, and the Wasp Deluxe. The Poly D and the T TD3 are not shipping, so I make that 12. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, congratulations, folks. Have you got those? Rich, I take it by your 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 demeanor that perhaps you were off there, were you? I didn't even. I have a big question mark. I didn't even. Okay. Try. All right. So uh, all right. Let's get on to the answer to question four. What do LFOs and mental health have in common? This is a little bit flippant, but I figured it might be. Might be. Uh, no. Lost uh, on this one. Bipolar. Both could be bipolar. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry, was that too? I, I thought these were easy. I've obviously gone way too, uh, way too difficult with this. All right, I beg you. I, I'm, I'm feeling that. Don't worry. There are other rounds which you may be able it's to. It's Wednesday do better. afternoon, man. Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. Okay. Question yeah. number five for the answer. <laughs> How many envelopes does the hydrosynth have in total? This is, of course. I thought it was something so, like five or six. Well, uh, if you think about it, yes, it's got five per voice. So that would be ah, uh, per voice. 40. That's, that's a okay. lot, isn't it? That is a lot. I thought you I'd can only lot there. There, may be questions, there may be questions along similar lines to this, so make a note, everybody. Okay, who were the first guests on the first Sonic Talk? Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> I know it wasn't you. Okay. Uh, I'm, Gaz I'm, must have been on, surely. No, he was Gaz not, actually. No, no, it wasn't Dave. Gaz. And I'm pretty sure Dave was one of them. Yeah. Dave Spears um, was one. And also. It could have been Mark. I don't think so. No, it wasn't. It was. 
Andy Jones. Andy Jones, who was then editor of Future Music magazine. So Andy Jones and Dave Spears were the first ever guests on Sonic Talk. No one got that right, apparently. I'm, I'm hearing from the wings because Andy's marking here. I want to say thank you very much to our markers. We've got uh, Lee Kemp, and uh, who's marking remotely, and Andy, who's marking in the studio because we just thought we didn't know how many entries we were going to get. So, uh, so there we go. Um, <coughs> right. Okay. What are sixteenth note delays at one p uh, at one twenty BPM in milliseconds? Or what is a sixteenth note BP uh, delay at one twenty BPM? Think get this one. 125 milliseconds. I used, to, I used to have that calculation in my head like this, and I don't remember. Yeah, it. I know. So I, I, I figured it was a bit cheeky, this one, because most people will have forgotten this. It's actually it really to... easy if you remember the calculation. I just don't remember. The calculation. Yeah, I know. It's I, I, it's one of those ones. It's one of those kind of when, you're, when, your kids, per, when your kids come minute? to you with, yeah, a, a, thousand, a thousand milliseconds. 60, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, uh, okay. Uh, what okay here's another one what word links bruce willis and artoria i don't know if anyone got this well i guess brute <laughs> uh, i understand what you're saying actually uh, well if you think about the drum machine called uh drum brute impact and deep impact the bruce willis in a film called deep impact and uh ah. drum brute impact that was impact is the word I'm looking for as the answer. Uh, okay, right. Uh, what was the name of Vangelis's 1975 studio? Okay, I'm see. I'm gonna have to. All right, Nemo Studio. Nemo. <laughs> it was Nemo. Thing of the fish. I didn't just look that up on the net. I promise. Uh, well, I would. I did. That's how I got the question. So, I mean, you know, it's not. This isn't. This isn't stuff that's coming out of my head. I just like to assure everybody. Okay, wait, question. So it's runs deep. <laughs> uh question 10 how much was the jupiter 8 were uh at the time of launch uh so if you had uh 980,000 yen or thereabouts oh well, actually hold on I i'm gonna let rich can come in rich looks like he's about to to, to make a statement well my guess was four thousand dollars no a bit low there rich four thousand yeah, pounds would have got you it uh, right, so the wow. answer is, the answer to uh, how much was the Jupiter rate at the time of launch, 980,000 yen, 5,295 US dollars, 3,995 pounds. If you're in, you know, in, I don't know, I think I think uh, 50, 50 bucks of that, I'm happy with that. Or, or uh, if you said 5,200, let's say 95 bucks. If you're within 95 bucks, because then that gives you a rounding down. So there we go. Okay, right. Um, so our current leader now, let's see where we are in the leaderboard, just to double check that. So currently, yep, we have, uh, I am very surprised at the, uh, so Laura Reynolds, Mikey's at the top, Wagyu, Laura Go Reynolds. Go Mikey. Yeah, well done, everybody. So, Welcome, uh, okay. Wagyu. So I, I think, gosh, this is going to take ages. We've only done one round, isn't it? It's going to go on to about eight at this rate. I better crack on, <laughs> but I better just do a, a quick uh, chat. We, we'll just do a quick uh Word from our friends over at Splice. Find the perfect kick, synth preset, or MIDI melody on Splice, plus millions of other royalty-free one-shots and loops with more added daily. Zero in on the perfect sound, filtered by tags like genre, BPM, key, and instrument. Or search for something else like a feeling or a mood. Browse, search, and preview all your sounds right from the Splice desktop app and seamlessly drag and drop them directly into your DAW. Your sounds and presets are available everywhere you make music. Keep them forever, no matter what. And if you want to take advantage of that, if you uh, use the code SONICSTATE100, uh, basically there's a 30-day uh, free trial. Uh, you do have to enter your credit card, but you can cancel it as soon afterwards. So you get 30 days of free sounds, up to 100 sounds. They've got a whole ton of them. So you, we're looking at, you want to go to on.splice.com slash 36F capital X lowercase L 
lowercase s, capital D, or I'll put it in the show notes, make it easier for everybody. Right, we better crack on to round two, because uh, this is obviously going to be uh, taking a bit longer than I initially thought. So uh, this uh, this next round is submitted by Yoad, actually. Uh, so you can there might be some fairly scientific ones here. So if everybody's ready for round two, uh, you should all be there on, your, uh, on the round two page. So let's take it away. So uh, round two, question one. If you drop a Gibson Les Paul, where is it most likely to break? A, the bridge. B, the neck. C, the pit guard. D, the jack socket. If you drop a Gibson Les Paul, where is it most likely to break? The neck. Sorry, A, the bridge. B, the neck. C, at the pit guard. Or D, at the jack socket. And in terms of answers, I will accept either the A, B, C, D or the actual answer itself, as long as it's one of the ones I've got into me. I hope he's not right. talking from experience. <laughs> I suspect he probably is, actually. and Because I, 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 he, he's, he's started life as a guitarist. I, th I think secretly, Yoan know, used to be a bit of a shredder, to be honest. He, he, uh. he does... I think he's got loads of Rocktron stuff in his racks. I think I reckon he, yeah. And he's nodding because we did the studio tour. We were looking, and I was going, "That's shredding material there." I'm sure of it. Uh, okay, <laughs> question two. This is round two. Question two. How many notes can you play simultaneously on a poly six? This is pretty straightforward. A six, B twelve, C two, D sixteen. Uh, so, how many notes can you play on a poly six at the same time? A six, B twelve, C two. D16. That should be a bit more straightforward. Okay, uh, question number three. How many filters does a Juno 106 have? Uh, A1, B2, C4, or D6? How many filters does a Juno 106 have? A1, B2, C4, or D6? Okay, question number four. How many teeth per second are in a digital sawtooth playing A3, an A3 note. How many teeth per second in a sawtooth playing A3 note, the A3 note? Is it A, 440, B, 880, C, 220, or D, 1000? So how many sawtooth teeth are there at playing A3 note, the, the note A3? Is it A, 440? B, 880, C, 220, or D, 1000? Okay, question five. This is where, it, this is just too complicated, but I'm, I'm going to try it. Okay, question five. At 3-4, this is the time signature, 3-4, how many quarter notes per minute are there at 120 BPM? <laughs> so at 3-4, how many quarter notes are there per minute at 120 BPM? So A, 90, B, 180, C, 66.6, or D, 120? I'll say the answers again. How many quarter notes at 3, 4, at 120 BPM? A, 190, D, 180, sorry, A, A 90, B, 180, C, 66.6, or D, 120? Oh, my Lord. Right, so that's uh, five. So question six now. Uh, what's the dynamic range at 24-bit? So look at the dynamic range at 24-bit. A, 90 dB. B, 120 dB. C, 144 dB. Or D, 24 dB. What's the dynamic range at 24-bit? A, 90 decibels or 90 dB. B, 120 dB. C, 144 dB. Or D, 24 dB. Okay. Uh, this might be a trick question. You'll have to make up your minds. On a 12-string gu guitar, how long is a piece of string? <laughs> longer than six. Longer than on a six-string guitar. This is A, longer, on a, longer than on a six-string guitar. B, shorter than on a six-string guitar. C, depends which string it is. D, however long you cut it. So, on a 12-string guitar, how long is a piece of string? A, longer than a six-string guitar. B, shorter than a six-string guitar. C, it depends on which string it is. Or D, however long you cut it. And again, I'm just looking for either the answer or the A, B, C, D. Okay, uh, question eight. What Beatles song has one chord? What Beatles song has one chord? A, they never had a song with only one chord. B, yesterday. C, tomorrow. D, Tomorrow Never Knows. 
So once again, what Beatles chord, what Beatles song has only one chord? A, they never had a song with only one chord. B, yesterday. C, tomorrow. D, tomorrow never knows. Right, question nine. What brick wall filtering has to be applied to a signal on the AD conversion in order to present it, prevent it aliasing? What brick wall filtering has to be applied to a signal on the A to D conversion in order to prevent aliasing? A, a high pass filter. B, a low pass filter. C, a notch filter. Or D, a Rizzler filter. Perhaps it won't be that one. So those answers again. Uh, what brick wall filtering has to be applied to a signal on the A to D conversion in order to prevent aliasing? High pass filter A, B, low pass filter C, notch filter D, Rizzler filter. Question 10. How many envelopes does a poly 6 have? A, 2, B, 12, C, 18, D, 6. How many envelopes does a poly 6 have? A, 12, uh, sorry, A, 2, B, 12, C, 18, and D, 6. And that's the end of that round. Okay, so I'm going to get on to... Uh, I'm just uh, going to round two. We should have some questions in. Uh, let me see. Uh, round two. Okay. Those were good questions. I'm just waiting for the hard. questions to come in. Doesn't seem to be any. Oh, here they are. Well, they're they're come in. We only got one. <laughs> we only got one answer to this one. So have I scared everybody off? Nobody's bothering <laughs> anymore. They were <laughs> well, hard, be a bit man. disappointing. <laughs> Well, it's an experiment, isn't it? I can see they're starting to come in now. So, uh, yeah, if you want to deliberate on that, we'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. Um, appreciate that. I know this is going to perhaps take a little bit longer. I'm going to have to speed things up a little bit. It's. Uh, I do apologise, everybody. Uh, so, Rich, where's where's your gig tonight? What's it? Is it a private gig or is it a... Uh... Gigs tomorrow night here at the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. The home ah. of uh, the Mavs. And, but it's a big arena. A big have arena. you played there before? I have. Ah, what's it like as a venue? Is it uh, like one of those massive kind of uh, um, stadia type things? Uh, it's uh, basketball hockey arena size, which is when fully loaded, which we don't do, uh, somewhere around 20,000. And uh, in the format where you have two-thirds of the arena available to the stage, like they were touring, Probably about fifteen, twelve to fifteen thousand people when it's packed. Wow! Ah. And it, what's the weather like there? Is it? I mean, I always think of Texas being kind of incredibly hot, but I know that it can rain a lot there as well, can't it? Um, <laughs> it's morning, and I haven't been out yet today. I have to look to tell you, but it's bright and sunny. I'm looking at blue skies, bright and sunny. Um, you know, calm, general demeanor. Birds are flying uh, across the way <laughs> <Excellent>. there. So. Uh, <laughs> Texas, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Tonight, uh, we're going to have the end of tour party, which involves various secret Santa things that everybody had to go get. And uh, this afternoon, I'm going to see an old friend. It's, uh, oh, it's nice. nice to be here. Bit I'm, of time off. And I'm going home on Friday, so that's cool, too. And I've been out for, you know, a, about a month, a little over a month. So that's fun. Excellent. Right, I've just closed the entries for round two. Uh, Matt, have you got have you got any gigs over the holidays? I mean, it's, uh, it's something you do, no. isn't it? No, I was thinking about doing some live streams, though, maybe a special one on Christmas Day or Boxing Day or something like that. So a I gig know. from here or something like that. I don't know. It depends how much food I've eaten. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a cool, but that that's pretty impressive. Uh, we're actually, I think what our plan is, we've got a new series called Three Big Questions and we're going to release one every day of the week between Christmas and New Year. So we've got seven oh. episodes, which are short interviews, uh, questions uh, asked by Gaz in uh, Synthfest, but it's this ongoing series. So we've got a lot of interesting people on there. That so sounds watch cool. Out for that. Just so so that, that'll be that'll be something we're going to put out sort of automatically, I think. So, uh, so yeah, that should be fun. Um, I suppose I should do, uh, let's, let's do the, uh, have I done... I haven't done the, uh, yeah, I think we should probably do the ad for uh, Isotope now um, before it gets to uh, midnight. Building on a 17 year legacy in audio mastering, Ozone 9 brings balance to your mix with never before seen processing for low end, real time instrument separation and lightning fast workflows powered by machine learning. Expect lower CPU usage and shorter startup times with Ozone 9 compared to Ozone 8 experience fluid metering in a fully resizable environment that lets you track the most subtle details of your audio use more plugins at once mix while you master without worrying about slowdowns or dropouts 
and immerse yourself in a smooth, modern experience designed to keep you in your creative flow. As you can see, Ozone 9 is the fastest way to get your master off the ground. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos and head to isotope.com to learn more about mixing and mastering and to download your free trial of Ozone 9. If you perhaps are interested in winning a copy of Ozone 9 Advance, uh, you can enter our competition. Competition is, uh, we're looking for, uh, uh, it's a Twitter a competition, so you need to be on Twitter. We're looking for the hashtag, bring the balance, as one word, bring the balance. The hashtag Ozone 9, then that's the number nine, to at Sonic State and at Isotope Inc. That's Twitter ha uh, hashtag, bring the balance, and the hashtag Ozone 9 to at Sonic State and, Isoto and at Isotope Inc. And you'll be entered into the competition. We have a winner from last week uh, who is a chap called Eric Morello, who uh, uh, tweeted the correct stuff. It's a long time. Maybe I'll win Ozone 9 Advance this week. Indeed, Eric, you have. So if you want to get in touch, uh, your Twitter handle is at Eric Mo. Uh, so please do. And the uh, competition prize is yours this week. So uh, I don't know how we are on marking, whether we're whether we're nearly there or whether we're there. Um, let's see where we are. We could bring this. I could bring the leaderboard up and we can see where it is at the moment. So is everybody excited? To see, oh no, I don't need to, do I? Because I need to actually answer the questions first. That would be the best thing. I do beg your pardon. That was a bit dumb of me. Uh, right, which I've. Right, so I, now I need my. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Okay, so question answers. We'll do that quickly. Uh, yeah, this is Yoad's round. Uh, if you drop a Gibson Les Paul, where is it most likely to break? Uh, the answer is B at the neck. The answer is B at neck. the neck. Uh, question two. How many notes can you play simultaneously on a poly six? Uh, well, I would say the clue's in the name of the synth there, so uh, the answer is A6. Uh, number three. How many filters does a Juno 106 have? Uh, the answer to that is six. Uh, because uh, six. six. One per note. One per voice, rather. So six filters. Oh, one per voice, of course. Yes. So th these are the trick questions. Okay. And, and question four, how many teeth, how many, t how many, t that's very true, actually, but the high, po mm, yeah, I, I think I would contest that, Matt, you're right, because yeah. actually it would be, you would, ah. that would be 12 then, wouldn't it, because, mm, it would if anybody's 12, put 12, yeah. they could have that answer, I think that's fair enough, oh, six okay. or 12 is an acceptable answer, that has probably just sent everybody, uh, uh, my, my good marketing Sorry. people into it, but you're absolutely right, I did not think about that. <laughs> Okay, Rich, this one's for you. How many teeth per second are in a digital sawtooth wave playing an A3 note? 880. No. 880. No? Apparently not. <laughs> C4, uh, A4 is 440, uh, so it would be half that, I would guess. Uh, A4 is 440, so C A3 is going to be half that, which would be 220. Okay, all right. I think that's, I mean, unless we are, oh, we, we could, <laughs> the answer he's got here anyway is 220. That is uh, uh, C, 220, which I guess 220 cycles per second would be uh, an A3, A4 before 40 cycles per second. So yeah. that kind of makes sense. Okay, question five. How many quarter notes per minute are there at 120 BPM at 3-4 time signature? Anybody got the answer to this, Matt? Um, I think it's probably about 750. No, I guess not quite. Rich, how many quarter notes at Qua 120 BPM? Yeah, oh, quarter right. It's beats per minute, it's beats per minute at, th at three four. I don't care what the time signature is, I don't care if it's raining outside. Ah, yeah, 120. 120. Yeah, that's a trick question. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, okay oh, folks, so the laugh. answer is uh, D120, very good. Very good. That made me uh, laugh. That's, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that's a trick question. Uh, that what was is a good the, one. Really? Number, question number six, what is the dynamic range at 24-bit? Does anyone have a, would anybody care to uh, put an answer in for this one? It's either oh, 140 or 120, I couldn't remember. Well, the answer is uh, C, 144 dB. The dynamic range at 24 bit is 144 dB. Okay, question seven. On a 12-string guitar, how long is a piece of string? Now, this is obviously a trick question. Uh, 
crafty, sneaky, sneaky yo ad. Uh, the answer is actually D, however long you cut it. Because that would make the most, because you might leave a long tiny, tiny bit or you might not. So, yeah, a little bit, little bit sneaky there. But hey, well, you know, it's a bit of fun. Uh, okay, wh- num- question number eight What Beatles song has one chord? Anybody know? I, I guess tomorrow never knows. Yeah, yeah, right. Is right. Correct. Yeah. Right. So, the answer right. to which right. Beatles song has one chord is t- answer D Tomorrow Never Knows. Okay, number nine. What brick wall filtering has to be applied to a, di- a signal on the A to D conversion in order to prevent aliasing? The answer was... I know, Rich, you're going to know. You're both going to know this, I'd imagine. Joe Pass. Yeah, low-pass filtering. That's question... Uh, answer oh, B, yeah. low-pass filtering is the answer to question nine. And question ten. How many envelopes does a Poly 6 have? I'm guessing a, a filter and an amplitude envelope type the number of times the number of voices. So we're mm-hmm. 12 is the answer. The answer is B, 12. So there we have it. That's the answer. Um, so I don't know if that was that easier that round. I'm not sure. This is round two. Let's see what the scores on the doors say. I should have a little jingle, shouldn't I? OK, so <laughs> oh, look at that. Wagyu is up there with 11, uh, followed by wow. Dave Bolden uh, at 10, Mauve or Maeve, Mauve at nine, Charlie Smith at eight, Dakota Sada at eight, Tide, uh, Asia Head at seven, Cake Folder, that's an interesting name, six, Scott from Canada, <laughs> six, Cress Head, six, and Mikey at four. There we go. Well done, everybody. Right, we better crack on to the next round because literally uh, this is, uh, this is th- there's lots. Okay, so how many rounds there are two more so i'm going to do quick we're going to go quick i do beg your pardon as i say this is a very experimental thing so you know we didn't know how it was going to work you do out well, mate. You're doing well this is great okay so this is this uh, is surrounded by this this round was provided by mark tinley which may provide some clues when you're thinking about the answers uh, question one. In 1979, Andy Wickett was lead singer and songwriter for a prominent band and sold all rights to what would become their first hit for £600. What was the name of the band? And you can put this in, but it won't count. Uh, what was the name of the song? Uh, quest, uh, question one. In 1979, Andy Wickett was lead singer and songwriter for a prominent band and sold all rights to what would become their first hit for £600. What was the name of the band and what was the name of the song? It's only one point, but you can stick them both in the same field. OK. Question two. Who was the lead singer of the same band in 1978? And I'm looking for the name or the nickname, which might give you a clue. This is obscure. I had to look it up. So I, I, I think Mark would probably be the only person who'd know this. Maybe Rich. Question two. Who was the lead singer of the same band in 1978? Name or nickname? OK. Question three. What was the what is the real name of a famous keyboard player who named himself after a Fender piano? What is the real name of the, the famous keyboard player? possibly in this band who named himself after a fender piano we're looking for his real (laughs) name not his stage name okay question four what english electronic pop band and splinter project did duffy and Rhodes? there you go there's a few answers in that question (laughs) form to re-record for some of the material they wrote together in 1978 okay a question again. Nineteen. Uh, question number four. What English electronic pop band and Splinter Project did Duffy and Rhodes form to re-record some of the material they wrote together in 1978? Uh, okay. Question five. Name three tailors, two of which are in said band, and one is royal. <laughs> I'll say that again. Name three tailors, two from the band we may have been talking about, and also one who is royal. All musicians. Okay, question number six. Name another Duran Duran splinter project that Rhodes was involved with a tailor in. So he was, Nick Rhodes was involved with one of the tailors in uh, a side project. What was the name of the side project? Question seven. Name an infamous Jamaican female singer who was involved also in this project. 
Question seven, name an infamous Jamaican female singer who was also involved in this project. Uh, for a bonus question, uh, which you can add in this add in this answer, what was the name of the song? There's no points in it, it's just a bit of fun. Okay, question eight. I'm going too fast, apparently, so I should probably slow this down. I, I, I think, possibly, I might do this round again quick, very, very quickly. Okay, uh, question eight. What was the name of the guitarist who joined Duran Duran as a full-time member after one of the Taylors left? Okay, question eight. What was the name of the guitarist who joined Duran Duran as a full-time member after one of the other Taylors left? Okay. Question nine. What is the name of the Splinter Project that Rhodes and Cucurulo... Mark, I really should have... I should have gone over these questions a little bit. Uh, ...recorded with one of our weekly panellists. That was Tinley, obviously. What was the name of... The Splinter Project that Rhodes and this guitarist recorded with one of the weekly panelists, who was who was Mark. Okay, uh, trick question. Uh, uh, this is this is just spare. If anyone gets it, this is very trivia. This is very inside. This is a bonus. Uh, you put this in the answer to question nine as well, if you're interested. What was the name of the opera these songs are taken from? Okay, question ten. What does Simon Le Bon's brother Johnny do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> this is probably Google's going to help you here. Okay, question ten: What does Simon Le Bon's brother Johnny do for a living? Okay, I'm going to uh, ask if anyone needs these uh, needs the any of these questions answering again because it's a little bit complex. This one. Uh, maybe I'll just go through them very quickly. Uh, uh, question one: In 1979, Andy Wickett was a lead singer and songwriter for a prominent band and sold all the rights to what would become their first hit for six uh, for six hundred pounds. What was the name of the band? And the bonus, where there is no point, what was the name of the song? Question two: Who was the lead singer of the same band in 1978? I'm looking for a name or nickname. Question three: What's the real name of the famous keyboard player? in that band who named himself after a fender piano question four what english electronic pop band and splinter project did that singer and rhodes form to re-record some of the material they wrote together in 1978 this is really obscure for me uh okay <laughs> name three yeah, tailors yeah. two from the band and one is royal Name another Duran Duran splinter project with, that Rhodes was involved with a tailor in. Question seven. Name an infamous Jamaican female singer who was also involved in the project. And what was the song, if you do remember? You don't have to answer that. Question eight. What's the name of the guitarist who joined Duran Duran as a full-time member after the other tailor left? Question nine. What is the name of the Splinter Project that Rhodes and that guitarist recorded with one of our weekly panellists, that being Mark Tinley? And what does Simon Le brother, LeBron's brother do? OK, um, so I seem to th I, I, we seem to have Gaz and Robbie. Do you yes! have us? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we are that. here. We are oh, here. Oh, we are happened? determined. What oh, God. Happened? It was like it was like a Chevy Chase movie. <laughs> Honestly, it was National Lampoons in Gaza Studio. No. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Sure, Brilliant. Right. sure of a squirrel but flying out. I'm, lo I'm loving your Christmas here, chaps. No, so, uh, mine uh, mine hold on. Oh. Just before you say something, um, what I'm going to yeah. do is yes. uh, we're gonna, we'll probably chat for three or four minutes. So answer, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, submit the forms. Then I'm going to close the entries, uh, or when we see that no more are coming in, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, but uh, okay. lovely to have you, fellas. So yeah, what's that? An Earth? Have you got in your? Are they kind of like clip-on LEDs for beards, or have yeah. you yeah, just nice. been raided the Christmas tree? <laughs> 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 they are beard, beard, beard baubles, beardments. Happy days. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I am thinking they look pretty fine on uh, intimate areas. If one was uh, into that, into that sort of thing Whoa. in the bedroom. No, no, it's but, okay. No, I don't want to see it. Okay. I'll, I'll just have Not to even, guess. <laughs> even in 20, 2019, Nick. I thought everyone manscaped. Uh, Who are you talking about? Yeah, no. 
not me. Uh, as if. <laughs> as if. As if. Uh, well, lovely to yeah. have you, chaps. So what have you been up to? Yeah. Well, while we're while we're filling time, we may as well uh, we may as well have a chat. <laughs> what have we been up to? We were ranting and raving for about 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, I've been away for a week on a on a little mission which has been good like a film and music mission in this amazing amazing uh, mansion actually i think it's uh, one of the if not the oldest or one of the oldest medieval uh, farmhouse structures in the uk uh, so it was amazing being there wow brilliant seven foot thick walls and stuff and um that's great that's for something that will be coming up soon i guess a project but um <laughs> Yeah, had lots and lots of synth joy as well over the week, which is great. I mean, Robbie, what about yourself? I've just been at home um, getting to grips with my quantum. Oh, nice. So, oh, yeah, version two, version two. version two. Version two, version two, sort of just pouring through it all and sort of just trying to get up to speed with it because I haven't had a chance since I got it, really. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been good. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, I just, yeah. so I, I, I'm just sort of saying we've we've now had I told 26. The responses are still coming in. I imagine people are mm -hmm. taking time to Google some of these yeah. answers. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I say something, are, Nick? One. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. So these quiz questions. So that was Duran 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 round then. So we're just getting up to speed now, and everyone's Basically. giving, and, and and people are submitting then quest, and they've been counted at the moment. They're being counted, yeah. The, the, each round Ooh, has each okay. round has its own spreadsheet, which then tots up right. to an actual scoreboard, which is pretty cool. Wow, God, that's so impressive. I'm, okay, sorry, we missed all of this. So just coming up to speed. <laughs> so I think uh, I yeah, got, I, we're round three. Yeah. Uh, it's taken way longer than I anticipated, though. I mean, we, we obviously we lost yeah. about twenty minutes due to due to technical mm -hmm. issues. So what was it, Gaz? Tell me, what was the actual issue? Oh, uh, well, I've done a rewire of my studio, partly for an upcoming Sonic State review. Um, oh, nothing was plugged uh, in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, everything was plugged in. And this is the best setup I've ever had in my life. And then Robbie coming over, got the mics out, you know, different headphone mixes, you know, everything. It, it, Apart from getting sound to you. Yeah, I, I think it was just to sort of, uh, the way the audio interface is rooting sound to you, I think. It's just, it's just I don't wrong. think. Uh, that was wrong, wrong yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so then we tried a bunch of other things, and, and that got was there all... Uh, we got there, and we're here, and we want to kind of cheer people on, like, come on, so it's a quiz. Uh, who... Can I can I do can I read out the scores then? Can I be the score? Can I be the girl? Who does the score? Right, hold on, just a sec. I've just I've, <laughs> I've I've shut the round, so the markers are doing their business. Oh, uh, okay. So we uh, yeah the, that round had hmm. what's happened is we started off with lot, quite a lot of people and it sort of just reduced yeah. and reduced and reduced the number of people. <laughs> so uh, come on, we're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back. I reckon I would have got pretty high scores on that round listening to the question. Mm. Anyway. Would you? Okay, as a yeah. confident man. Well, okay. And I, I love you. I love okay, the fact Robbie, that you well, gave that case. In that case, Robbie, when I read the answers out, you'll be presumably able to uh, just chip yeah, in with, gonna, with I did, what they I are. Did like the fact you, I did like the fact you gave one of the answers away with a subsequent question. That wasn't my yeah. that was Mark's <laughs> writing. I should have. Uh, yeah, I agree. Oh, that was funny. You got to put you got to put Robbie on the spot now. <laughs> I am, yeah, I am. The okay. yeah, yeah, excellent. Okay. So, okay, okay. Well, here we go. Here we go. We're answers okay. to round three. Okay, Christmas That's quiz crazy. round yeah. three. So, so Robbie. In uh, 1979, okay. Andy, w Andy Wickett was the lead singer and songwriter for a prominent band that sold all rights to what would become their first single for £600. Duran Duran. Yeah. Duran Duran. And do you know what the song was? Uh, would it be Rio? No, Girls, no. On, Girls, on, Girls on Film. On, Girls yeah. on Film. Planet yeah. so Earth. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. No, Girls on Film. So the answer is okay. uh, <laughs> Duran. Hold on, I, I, guys. Yeah. I, I really need to have because the the people out there need to hear the answers. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. Duran Duran and Girls on Film. Uh, so that's the answer. Either one of yeah. those will do. I'm sure that I'm sure our markers have been relatively lenient on that. But uh, and that who, is, maybe they haven't. Is that, and Girls on Film, the original video is kind of soft pornographic as well. Yeah. It's very ooh. Okay, all right. No, we really do have to crack on. Uh, question two, who was the lead singer of the same band in 1978? Name or nickname? No, I don't know if I... I reckon, was it Stephen Tintin Duffy? Bingo is the right hey! answer. So you, <laughs> the answers we could have accepted for that are uh, Stephen Duffy or Tintin. Would would have been fine, or Stephen Tinter, any of the any any of those basically would work. They then had so. a project with Nick Rose years later. Yeah. Okay. So hmm. uh, right. So question three: What's the real name of the famous keyboard player who named himself after a Fender piano? Basically, I think what we're asking for is Nick Rhodes' <laughs> real name. Oh, uh, I don't know that. Pete. Pete. 
Nicholas Bates. Yes, Nicholas James Bates. I don't, I don't think we had to have the middle name there, Rich. I think <laughs> Nick Nick Bates is fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, question four. What English electronic pop duo band and splinter project did Duffy and Rhodes form to re-record some of the material they wrote together in 1978? Oh, Anyone? Arcadia? No. 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 It, it, it was only a few yeah. years ago, wasn't it? Oh, Ghosts? No, what was it? I can't remember. Standard, okay, uh, okay, I'm going to have to give the answer. The answer to that question Can is you go -go? The Devils. The Devils, oh. that was right. Ah, you see it, no! They did an album together. Okay, they? all right, question five. Name three tailors, two from the band and one is Royal. This is kind of, you know, I had to modify that question <laughs> because you could have any three tailors, couldn't you? But two from the band, Andy and John Taylor are from Duran Duran. Sorry, and did you have the third one there, Rich? Roger Taylor. Roger! No. Roger. Roger is one, but I don't understand the question. So no, it's because well, Roger Taylor from Queen. Because the one is royal. I said ah. one is royal, so that would be Roger Taylor is a royal royal Very connection good. there. So it's Andy John and Royal. We uh, Andy John and Roger. We were looking for <laughs> Roger. Okay, Roger. Sorry, What's Roger the Royal. To Roger. Roger, Roger Taylor Taylor's is a drummer Queen. of Queen. But it's, it's a different Queen. Roger Taylor. I'm sorry, I can't understand you guys are talking. Yeah, to you have to time. one at a time, please, guys. Roger Taylor is Somebody the Roger Taylor is the drummer for Queen. That's the Royal Connection. Oh, oh all right. Yeah, Got yeah. It. Okay. All right. Uh, next ha. question. Uh, an, uh, name another Duran Duran okay. Splinter project that Rhodes was involved with a Taylor in. Uh, I think actually, hmm. Matt, you might have that one. You Sorry, say that already. again. Name another Duran Duran Splinter project that Rhodes was. Rhodes oh, Arcadia. Was Arcadia, that's it. Yeah. Arcadia yeah, is the answer yeah. to question six. Okay, question seven. Uh, name an infamous Jamaican female singer who was also involved in this project. Anybody? Don't know that. Grace Jones. Yes. Grace Jones is the answer. Well done, Gaz. Grace Jones! Uh, anyone know what the answer, what the song was called, just out of interest? Oh. Election Day. Election, election day, day, election day. Okay, question eight. What is the name of the guitarist who joined Duran Duran as a full time member after <laughs> at, well, Andy Taylor left? Yeah. Cucurulo, the... Cucurulo. Uh, Wayne yeah. Cucurulo. Cucurulo. Warren, Cuc Warren, Warren, Warren Cucurulo. Cucurulo. Yeah. Warren Cucurulo is the answer to that question. Yeah. Okay, question nine. What is the name of another Splinter project that Rhodes and Cucurulo recorded with one with, with Tinley, basically? <laughs> Dandy Warhols. Nope. TV Mania. TV Mania. That's the other. TV Mania. Okay. And uh, the bonus question there: If anybody uh, could be bothered with that one, what uh, what was the name of the opera these songs were taken from? And it's bored with Prozac and the internet, apparently. Okay. Question ten. Ten. What does Simon oh. Le Brother, like Le Bon's brother, do? Johnny do for a living? Anybody know this? <laughs> this is so random. <laughs> okay. Well, Chimney I can tell sweep. You, Chimney uh, sweep. No, it's not a chimney sweep. He's an osteopath. <laughs> an osteopath. An osteopath. Right. There you go. Oh. Could be handy. Right. Blimey, uh, right. Okay, so Matt, we're on to your uh, round now. So I got, uh, I got Nick. I got Nick. How many oh, questions did Robbie get? How many did Robbie I, get? I don't right? know. I don't five know. six. Five yeah. six. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I really do. I'm sorry to hurry things on, but it's... it's, it's on. Uh, right, so the scores in the doors. Here they come. Stand by. You can, oh. call, you can call them out, guys. Yeah. Okay, Wagu with 19. Wow. Hey. Second place, <laughs> we've got Dave, Dave Bolden on 18 points, followed by Scott from Canada uh, on 11 points. Uh, 11 points also equaling with Mr. Cresshead. And in, in nine <laughs> points, we've got... <laughs> is that more live? Uh, oh, I can't read them. Eight, Maeve, Charlie, Mauve. Uh, uh, Mauve, 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 Mauve. I got a bit Charlie Smith at eight. Okay, can uh, I do it? Here we go. Yeah, take Charlie, over. <laughs> Charlie Smith, eight points. Dakota Soda, eight points. Andy, seven points. Bullard, seven points. And Azia Head at seven points. Okay, right. Okay, so all to play for, although Wagu is uh, and Dave Bolden are streaming ahead. So They certainly you know. are. Okay, so next. Yeah. Uh, Clearly so, cheating. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, <laughs> you'll probably have to clarify some of these answers just for what the what the... The odd, this is the odd one out round supplied by Matt. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this so, is an easy round. You can get some easy scores on this one, folks. Yeah, so this could be <laughs> where you really catch up. Okay, so stand by. Question, this is an odd one out round. 
Question one. The odd one which is the odd one out? SSL, Neve, or AKG? Odd one out, SSL, Neve, or AKG? Um, Question two. Bloom line, spaced pair, or rounded? We're looking for the odd one out with bloom line, spaced pair, or rounded? Question three. Shaw, Neumann, or Sonic? Shaw, Neumann, Sonic. Which one of those is the odd one out? Question four. I feel like uh, Graham, Graham John Alexander, the one who does the pools reading on the Saturday. <laughs> Question four. <laughs> Hot Point Athletic, six. Dunbarton, nil. No, uh, question four. Hot Point, Genelec, or Mackie? <laughs> <laughs> Only one of them catches fire, I'm pretty sure. Hot Point, Genelec, or Mackie? Well, that's also debatable, but never mind. Question five. <laughs> question five. Make noise. Ableton. Intelligel. Question five. Make noise. Ableton. Intelligel. These are all odd one out rounds, in case anyone is wondering. Uh, okay, question seven. Six. No, I do beg your pardon. Question six. Uh, mutable instruments, waves, or sound toys? Mutable instruments, waves, or sound toys? Okay. Question seven. Odd one out again. MS-20, SH-101, or WASP? SH-20, sorry, MS-20, SH-101 or WASP? Odd one out. Uh, another odd one out with synths. Okay. DX7, Jupiter 8, or Monopoly? So odd one out here. DX7, Jupiter 8, or Monopoly? Yeah. Question number nine. VCO, NCO, or DCO? That's VCO, NCO, or DCO. Okay, question number 10. Uh, okay, question 10. This has got four choices. So uh, we're looking for uh, the answer here of the odd one out. Okay, so Mini Moog, Jupiter 6, Sledge, or Blofeld. Or Blowfield, I don't know how you pronounce it. The Waldorf one, you know. So, odd one out. Mini Moog, Jupiter 6, Sledge or Blowfield? Right. So, that's... Uh, I. So, there's the questions and the answers. So, uh, we'll just have a look. So, if you want to uh, take a couple of seconds just to uh, mm. uh, figure out, um, you know, if you need time to, to, to press the button on the form, uh, go for it, and then we'll sort of chat amongst ourselves. I'm just going to round mm -hmm. three. I... I think there's some. Uh, this is this is round four. Sorry, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is round four. Thank you, pardon. Round four. <coughs> oh. Question five is demanding a number. Okay, let me see if I can fix that. That shouldn't be. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Uh, question f question five must be a number. Okay. Uh, well, choose one, two, or three. Uh, question five. Make noise, Ableton or IntelliGel. Just use one of the numbers, and I'll have to work that out. So one, two, or three is the answer to number five. I can't edit the form if you already opened it. So that's my my apologies. So question number five: uh, Make noise, Ableton or IntelliGel? And how many questions are together all together in this round? There's ten in this round. Ten. Okay, so a possible ten points then. So all to play for. All to play for. So I guess if our front runners kind of have a really rubbish round, you know, we could see the back markers kind of making, picking up a little bit there and sort of uh, <laughs> closing the gap a little bit. It's what we want to see to kind of get a bit of a, get a bit of the competition going. John McCreary, isn't it? Hey, who? <laughs> you. 
<laughs> if it all goes wrong, Gaz, you've got an, you've got another uh, uh, prospect another ahead of you here. You commentate, mate. <laughs> okay. What do you mean if it all goes wrong? It has all gone wrong. <laughs> Just a sec. So Mikey has been has said that he's uh, it, one of his rounds wasn't counted. So we we will go have to go over this and do a bit of checking. So there might be a bit of adjustment at the end. Ooh. But that's. He's already on that one. Oh, he's, already on it. he's on it. He's on it. He's on it, apparently. Okay, uh, so, right. Uh, so, I hope you all did well, folks. Uh, so, now we come on to... Uh, well, actually, no, no, what we're talking about. I've just done the questions, haven't I? Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit distracted. So, I've uh, done the questions. Oh. So, uh, and now uh, we have a little bit of time to uh, for people to submit all their answers. And, oh, here they come. They're all coming in. So, how many have oh. we got? Okay, that's a, more people have submitted to this one. And uh, I told you, so, right, this okay. is the round. This, this is, is where round. people can make some back. Okay. Ah. So I'll just keep an eye. I'm keeping an eye on the numbers, and when they stop coming in, then I just uh, switch off responses. That's basically the uh, <clears throat> the way it works. So uh, how many if rounds if to go, Nick? To, if you're listening to the audio version of this, obviously this is just for fun because you can't enter the competition. It's just it goes. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about that, but just enjoy the uh, enjoy the moment and uh, much appreciated for you listening. Uh, while we're here, I guess we want to thank all of our guests and everybody who's been with us throughout the year. We want to thank our sponsors, Isotope, and also at the moment Splice. Thank you very much for the support and all all of you guys out there for listening. It's been uh, yeah. another great year, and uh, we've broken our 600. So uh, yeah, there we are. Hooray! Well done, everybody, for listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. Blimey. Uh, so let's have a look. Twenty. It looks like I'm going to close round four. I'm closing Ooh. round four now. Okay, round Here four is go. closed. All right. So yes. uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I, I, they, I think they all look like they're marked. That looks like it's a round ten hasn't been marked. I uh, I uh. Yeah, round 10 hasn't been marked yet, so I think I just need to mark that one. So, uh, no one got it. Uh, question 10. Oh, Ooh. nobody got it. I do beg your pardon. Blind. No one got it. it. Too obscure. Wow. Too obscure. Okay. Right. right, okay. So, uh, are we ready for the answers? Answers! Okay, now. Uh, so, Matt. I'm going to come to you first because I need you to explain why it's some of these are the odd one out. I have an idea. Oh. So, which is the odd one out from SSL, Neve, and AKG? Uh, AKG is the odd one out. Yeah. That is a microphone. The other two are consoles. Console manufacturers. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, question there may number be such a thing as an AKG console. Shush. I'm not sure. Uh, Shush. Not, this, this is. I, I, I think they might be. I think they may be. I think I've seen a little one actually, like a broadcast console AKG. Yeah, I, I did not invent, and I got it right. But yeah, uh, I think a, I think we have to go with the spirit of the answer because there may be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How far back do we want to go? There is a need mic as well. <laughs> oh, to be honest. Be so. be oh god. <laughs> So, oh, you but, don't know but, why you bother, Matt. No, I don't know why you bother. Shush, shush, I'm, out, I'm out of here. Hold on a sec. Hold on. No, I tell you what it is. It's because it's the spirit of it. Is it? What are they most yeah. known for? SSL are yeah, most exactly. known for consoles. Neve knows for consoles. I knew, I knew it twenty minutes. Um, <laughs> Question number two, then. Okay, let's crack on. Question number two: <laughs> Blumline, spaced pair, or rounded? Uh, the odd one out is rounded. The, rounded. the other two are microphone techniques. Techniques. Yeah. 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 Very good. Nice one. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, question number three. Shaw, Neumann, or Sonic? Odd one out is Sonic. The other two are microphone manufacturers, or mostly known for making microphones. <laughs> Someone's going to tell me there's a Sonic make... microphone. They do make monitors, don't they? they? <laughs> Sontronics. Son Sonic. Sonic. Okay, all right. So Sonic, Sonic is the... Okay, question number four. Uh, the uh, hot point, Genelec or Mackie? Easy one. We're looking for hot point is the odd one out. <laughs> the two are monitors. Currently, uh, currently uh, if you have a hot point or uh, Indesit uh, or Whirlpool uh, manufactured between certain years, you're supposed to unplug over Christmas while they uh, come around and fix it because there's apparently a fire hazard. So, uh, but do check details oh. for that. I don't want to be responsible for anybody's dirty <laughs> washing, but it's all over the news in the UK at the moment. Okay, right. so hot point was the answer to that one. Question number five: Make noise, Ableton or Intelligel? And the answer is Ableton because the other two are modules for Eurorack synthesizers. 
That's right. And Ableton, of course, is software. software. Mostly software. Right. Okay. So, yeah. uh, question number six mutable instruments, waves, sound toys. This is the opposite. So, the odd one out is mutable instruments. Uh, waves and sound toys are software plugin manufacturers. Very good. Okay. So, now question number seven MS20, SH101, or WASP? Anybody? Wasp! Yay! Wasp! Wasp! Yeah! Why? Why? Brit British! Yes. Okay, there we go. We got that one. Okay. Rich, do you know this one? Okay. <laughs> Question number eight. DX7, Jupiter 8, or Monopoly? I would take DX7. DX7. Mm, why would that be? Oh. Why? Because it's a digital FM synthesizer, whereas the others are analog. Okay, well, that's, that's not the answer point. I was looking for. I was actually looking for uh, Monopoly, and the reason was the other two have memories. Patch memories. Ooh. So, uh, kind of along the right lines, but in inverted, if you see what I mean. So, yeah. No one got it. I went for the I went for the not very obvious answer on that one. Okay, I do beg your pardon. I like, I like my argument better, but anyway. I yeah, I agree. I think that works too. Um, okay, um, number nine: VCO, <laughs> NCO, or DCO. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the odd one out? Anybody know? Oh, the NCO. No, the not NCO. Controlling. The non-controlling oscillator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. NCO is the odd one out, but not for that reason. The reason that it's at, uh, it is actually uh, the odd one out is because it's numerically controlled oscillator and is generally made in DSP only, whereas a VCO and DCO are generally in uh, analog, generally in analog electronics. Ooh, bonus points Ooh. there, almost. NCO is, of course, made by Modal on the 002 and the 001, and I think uh, maybe there's a couple of other ones of those. I thought okay. it was the head of a company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's, it's something to do with officer, isn't it? It's a military term as well. Something officer. Yeah, yeah. Non-commissioned non non -commissioned officer, that's right. That's what I see. Also, which would also be the odd one out, but not for the right reason. Okay, uh, question number 10. Uh, this has got four possible answers. Mini Moog, Jupiter 6, Sledge, or Blofeld? Odd one out. Please, gentlemen. Mini Moog. Mini Moog. Mini Moog for why? Is it the only one that's monophonic? I don't know. Is that... Got your mic. Uh, no. But that no. is an answer. It's not. It's actually the number of oscillators I was looking at. Oh. And in which case, the Jupiter 6 is the odd one out because it's only got two oscillators. The rest have got at least three. 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 Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, what, I'm, what I'm learning from this first quiz experience is the, the question <laughs> I set, nobody can answer. So I need to lower my <laughs> expectations a little See, bit. See, mine were nice and easy, man. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> right, Matt. I'm, I think I'm going to come to Washing machines in mine and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, which is by far the best, uh, the best way to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So we are now. Uh, I think we probably are ready to to have the scores. Uh, if Gaz would like to uh, read out the scores yes! for the, uh, if make you can, big. if you should, okay. I can't, yeah, I can't make it any bigger than this. Unfortunately, this no, is no, it. it's all good. Okay. Wagoo streaming ahead now on twenty six points. Have we seen? I thought Scott from Canada was on nineteen in the last round. Maybe the next nineteen. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, Dave Bolden on 18 points. Cresshead on, also on 18 points. Mauve on 17 points. Charlie Smith on 16. Bullard on 15. Viger or Viger on 15. Andy on 14. And then Dakota Soda on 8. Dearie me. Mm. What happened to Kate but Bolden? I, I, want to have to, yeah, Scott from Canada. I don't know if maybe Scott from Canada um, didn't get his answer in time before the question. Before uh, I don't know if that happened. Okay. I do, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, it's only fun. It doesn't matter. But you're still second, so you're in the prizes. So just make <laughs> sure you get your, your questions in. Uh, but we'll check yeah. to see if that, that they didn't they didn't come in and you were just uh, maybe maybe weren't marked at the very end. I don't know where this uh -huh. from Canada. I'm just Scott from Canada is there. No. But so if I'm we look at the mid table, Nick, sixteen. Uh, hold on. No, you got eight in round four, Scott. 
So uh, that does that has been counted. Oh. And, uh, we'll double we'll double check that. Don't worry. <laughs> don't don't worry. Um, so right, the final round is the picture round. So the picture round <laughs> is. I think we'll just do these. Uh, no, we won't. We can't shout them out, can we? Uh, as every, I suppose the thing is, we don't know if everybody has actually done the picture round or not. Uh, picture round can be found at uh, um, so, a bitly slash. What is it? It's a bitly slash. Uh, um uh, ssq 19 picks so ssq number 19 p-i-c-s that's bit.ly slash ssq 19 i'll put it in the in the chat room as well so people can join it quickly uh, and what we're looking for really is um just what's the synth that's pictured in the picture round so i'm going to bring you none of you guys will probably have seen this yet so i've got a button for that so is it this one can i go and look at it there we go so Ooh. this is oh, no, that we is. don't want anybody shouting these out so this is number one this is synth number one in the picture round okay so picture number one in the in the in the that i mean if you're actually on the form you you can see the, the i've uploaded these to the form as well so you know if you want to see them in higher res uh you need okay. to um follow the link i think i put them in everywhere i can i might just stick them in the uh the facebook one as well Okay, right. Uh, so, uh, okay, everybody had a look. I'll, I'll go. Through, maybe I'll just go around these twice because it might take a bit of time for people. Picture rounds usually there's a usually you get your, your eye in. Okay, that's number one. Number two, picture number two, right here. Mm -hmm. okay. Need to get your duster out, Nick. Uh, I, I, they are not my synthesizers. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be too easy. Okay, I got ask people in the uh, chat room not to shout out the questions. It's not it's not part of the fun, is it? Come on, guys. <laughs> Honestly. Right, okay, that's number 2. Picture number 3. Mhm. Mm How many mod wheels do you want? I don't know. It looks like real. there might be a fourth one there as well, though, didn't there? Mm. Right, okay. Uh, unless they are not mod wheels, there might be something exactly. else. Exactly. Mm. Okay, so that's, Red picture, herring. That, that's picture number three. Picture number four. Oh, yeah. How many mod wheels do you not want? <laughs> yeah, how many? <laughs> okay, this is picture number four. Okay, picture number four. All right, now picture number five. Oh, very dusty, yeah. very poor work. Oh, that duster is there. Very dusty. Oh dear, Not happy with that at having all. apoplexy over that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, question five is only accepting numbers apparently on this one, so I'm looking for. Uh, let me just see what the. Question five. I think I thought I'd fixed all of this. You could you could just put the numbers of the synth in que in the question, which is this one. So uh, if you just put the numbers in, we'll accept that. That's uh, uh, my programming error. I do apologise that. Uh, okay, number six. Hmm. Synth number six uh, seems to be more loved. Either that, or either that's a kind of speckled panel, or that's a more uniform spreading of dust, which has kind of <laughs> perhaps been, I don't know, ingrained into the surface somehow. I'm not sure. I'd say it's, it's, a, good, it's a good design if it is, because you can get away with not dusting it. Really, that's very true. Maybe that's why it was yeah. purchased, given the state of the other synthesizers in the collection. That yeah. might actually have been a wise move. Okay. So, it, do you know whose collection this is? I do, but I, 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 uh, I that might be a guess. That's a bonus answer, yeah. which doesn't get a point. Yeah. But uh, okay, okay. All right, uh, number seven. Mm. Hee hee. Well, that's a what a nice color. It is a yeah. it? a lovely color. Uh, a lovely it's a color. color indeed. Um, with yeah. A okay. So that's question number that seven, is. which you're currently seeing now. Okay. And number eight. Oh, very dusty. <laughs> very, very poor. Uh, I don't think that's been used for a long time. 
There's no there's no evidence of human fingers anywhere near any of those controls, which is a shame. So yes, this is number eight. You've got to look very closely at that one. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, I'm saying it. Okay. Know what you're saying? No clues yet, folks. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Number Ooh, nine. Nice knobs. Lovely knobs. <laughs> mm. Number 10. The final question, number 10. Oh, Ooh, that's a tricky one. No, I know that. Okay, right. So we've Reset. got plenty of... Real-time okay. creator. So we've got plenty of... Uh, I'm just going to rewind this to the beginning. Okay, so uh, this is the last round. Gosh, it's 20 to 6. Good belief. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, so I'm going to close this because hmm. I suspect a lot of people were actually were um, uh, responses. I've already filled this one in. So I'll close that round now. So we'll go straight to the answers because I'd imagine uh, this is needs to. We need to crack this on a bit. So, okay, anybody who knows what this is? Is that, is that a polycobal? RSF cobalt? No. No. Access virus? No. No. Oh. What's that noise? Oh. I was trying to illustrate things. Uh, okay. It probably <laughs> does not while we're trying to read answers out, uh, just because it, it, people don't always hear what they are. Okay. Uh, that's a black corporation, Kijimi. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You never nice. got that. Black cor No, well, no, I didn't. That's either. a hard one. Well, I did, because I had to... Rich, did you get that? Yeah. No. No, oh. <laughs> I didn't think I'd, yeah, I. I was just nowhere near it. Right. Okay. Next one. Who knows what this is? Rich, I saw your eyes light up. Mm -hmm. what this is an emulator. E two. emulator. Emulator. Emulator two. Emulator two. Yeah. 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 It is actually cool. well. It's at, technically it's an emulator two plus, but ah. two is fine for me. I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to be too. Uh, too hard on that. I think that's fair enough. Much time on this instrument. Love ah, well, yeah. <clears throat> Familiar. Is, do, I don't suppose that that's not any of your dust on there, presumably, is it? I think it's. Uh, I don't think <laughs> you and this instrument. Hopefully not. <laughs> own one, so probably not. Okay. Right. So uh, number three. Anyone know what this one is? Hartman neuron. Mm. Yep. Correct. That is a hey. Hartman oh, neuron. Yeah. Good, Good shout. shout there, Robbie. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Who That's knows this Solaris. one? Who said that? Solaris. Solaris. Yes, John Bowen Solaris. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is that a ribbon Solaris. controller? I think yeah. it must ribbon. Be a ribbon controller. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. it had a ribbon controller. Mm. Yeah, I think it is, Matt. Okay, right. Uh, question eight. This was the oh, one okay. uh, that uh, we I couldn't find. It, yeah, it needed needed to you needed to put the numbers in because the it was numerically my question was only accepting numbers, which was a bit annoying. Is it K five? This is question five. Is it a K five? Well, Kawhi. K three. Kawhi K three or K. Kawhi. It is a Kawhi. Kawhi K five or K three? One of those. Nope. No. Nope. Close. A few oh, more zeros. This is a Kawhi. 500 K 5000 s 5000 5000 that's it wow so i guess that's a really sort of swanky additive synthesizer yeah. i think it's jody wistanoff it? uses that a lot doesn't he does he what way out west guy? yeah 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 that's right yeah interesting okay k 5000 s i will accept 5000 as an answer there because that's my fault there was a problem with the form i do apologize for that this, we sort of think we're ironing out the kicks. Now I've got the system in place. It means we might be able to do more quizzes. You know, who knows? It could be fun. <laughs> Yay. If want to, or I could have a quiz. If there's no guests, I could have a quiz in the in, an in Easter the back quiz. pocket ready to go. Um, okay, so uh, question number six. Who knows what this one is? Oh. Uh, boring. It's like a Yam <laughs> Yamaha. <laughs> <laughs> is it a Yamaha? No. It's like a motive like or something like that. It's no. like an M Audio MIDI controller. Hey, I don't know. It's funny you should <laughs> say that because it's nothing like that whatsoever. Uh, it is actually a Korg 
Oasis. That's what I mean, boring. Oh. That's not, that's not boring. Is it boring, the Oasis? Right, it's just know. workhorse. I, it's a workhorse. A lot of people swear by them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, right, what's this guy, then? Question number seven. What's that? Oh, it's got to be... That's is enough. that a PPG? A shrink. It's a PPG. Oh, no. PPG. PPG. We're thinking PPGs, are we? Okay. I'm thinking I thought PPG. Oberheim. Is it that Oberheim that, that was that sort of weird one? Oh, yeah. at the, the Italian end of their, one. The Italian the, one. Yeah, the Oberheim. Yes. Oh. Robbie, yeah, oh, yeah, yes. OB12. OB12, OB12. It's a Vic- Viscount. Oberheim OB12 is what I have in front of me. Oh, my. Hmm. Which okay. lots of people love now. Apparently, do they? Okay. Uh, yeah, they do. They're very hard to okay. get. Okay, number uh, yeah. no, I, t- I thought two, this was oh, the SH101, yeah. oh, two, but then I saw the blue knot. Yeah, it's the MC202, isn't it? It's what? A really hard to MC202. Yes, correct. Yeah. This is, in fact, the MC202. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which Ties, is so first ever spin. Because you can't get so much macro on it. It's so small that it's, yeah. Okay. I think that was Ty's first ever thin- synth, from what he told yeah. me. Oh, really? Ah, you, yeah. you know this, Robbie? I think Question that's the, the, the big... Oh, what's the Schmidt. You reckon this is Schmidt? Yeah. Schmidt. Schmidt, final answer. Yes, indeed, that is, in fact, the Schmidt. Well spotted. Okay, yeah. and question number 10. This one's going to be real. Oh, is that, is that that Yamaha, that Yamaha wavetable thing right at the end of the, what was it called? The most I know that. Yamaha motor. No. creator. Oh, man. No, I don't think anybody's going to get that. It nah. is the Technics WSA-1. Oh, oh, that's hard. The, WSA-1R, because I guess it's a rack man, but I will accept Arr. WSA wow. one is is close enough, I think. Uh, 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 I, is, that, I is that a synth? Then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know they made a synth. Was it? <laughs> yeah, people got it's a that. Synth. People did get go. that. <laughs> yeah, I think we did, did get a few answers right. Okay, Ooh. so uh, we better get on to the marking of this round. So uh, the marking, mm. done. I think the marking is done. I'm getting the okay from the team. Uh, so thanks mm. again to Andy and also Lee for for working behind. The- I was a bit worried that we might actually uh, get like several hundred entries, which times 10 <laughs> questions per round would take an enormous amount of time to edit, uh, yeah. to, to mark, but it's actually is this the, too bad. Is this the last round, Nick, then? That was the last round, yeah. Oh, so we're going to so declare the winners? We are going to declare the winners. So I'm just okay. going to consult my spreadsheet Ooh. quickly. Right. Exciting stuff. Okay. I wonder who's going to get the dishwasher. Sorry. Uh, we well, I tell you what we have to do is you have to confirm later to double check. I'm just looking here. And you, uh, hold on one sec. I might need to just do a little bit of uh, tweakage here. So it is H thirty. So um, okay, hold on one second. So uh, that's there. So I just just one second. I need to. Uh, 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 right, you have to talk amongst yourselves a little bit while I because this is mm. where I, I'm the only one who can actually figure out what the hell's going on. Well, here. we do have to wonder whether that is an unassailable lead from Mr. Wagyu. That certainly seems to be... <laughs> I mean, you know, he's very, very, very far in front. So, But he might have had a nightmare of a round. He might have had a nightmare of a round. Let's hope so for the sake of the others. Now, but in the mid-table, there could be a lot of swappage going on. So, you know, I think we're really on the edge of the seats on this one. I'm kind of... Uh, I couldn't call it. Robbie, what would you, you know... Do, all to play for. All to play for, all to play for. Right. Right, I'm just double-checking these because I want to make sure that it's actually <laughs> added it all up, right? So what, so, we got a first, a second, and third prize? Uh, well, first and, first second, and second, really. At first the and second, yeah. So, Scott... Mm. Yeah, this is all looking like it's all right. So, okay, mm. we have a very clear winner. Oh, okay, cool. well, to the here we go. Um, uh, we'll... Uh, we will double check this because I mean we're going to have to wrap the show up. But if 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 this changes at all, I will contact because people had to put their email addresses. But as it stands, uh, hang on, Nick. Have to have what? Can can I be like a, a chord and then you give the announcement just just to give a little bit of jazzy kind of ending on the? Yeah. Okay. So, you so say, ready yeah. for the? <laughs> ready. Got to yeah. pick a nice chord. 
<laughs> there we go. Okay. Woo! So something that, that 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 looks a little bit wrong to me, but we'll double check it out because oh. uh, Scott for Canada is still on nineteen, but Wagyu is, still on is clearly in the lead. So I need Wagyu. to double check our our step. Uh, but he's, I, I said all to play for, so I do need to check <laughs> the, uh, the numbers out because it may be that people didn't enter everything exactly correctly. But we'll go back well, to that. Well, Cakefolder's back into it. Cakefolder's back. Yeah, he's come back up yeah, to 16. Yeah, come on, Cakefolder. So 32, 19. So well, I just need to check this again. Let's have a look. So uh, we've got... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to double check it. But that's the way as it stands. So... Uh, uh, ah. the slightly there's a slightly disappointing end to this in that I need to verify all of this and we really got to wrap things up because uh, we've been going for a really long time this is probably the longest <laughs> we've ever done and I'm sure people have got their lives to get on with and stuff so I want to say people's uh, things waiting at home I, I want to say thank you so much to everybody for joining us, Rich. It's been a pleasure. I uh, hope you have a lovely day in uh, in Texas and uh, um, a great gig tomorrow. It'll be, I'm sure, will be fantastic and a good travel home. Thanks very much, and a very happy Christmas to everybody. Yes, I and whatever agree. Else you whatever and else to, you may celebrate. And to <laughs> you guys. You. Thank you very much. And also, I want to say, Matt, thank you for joining us. I hope you have a really good Christmas as well. Thank you for the questions. Cheers, Nick. That's uh, all right. And mate, well done. You did a really good job there. I think that was a bit stressy, but you you really pulled it out of bag. So well done, mate. And have a Yay! good Christmas. Thank and everyone else was, as well. Yeah. It was Round of applause for Quizmaster. Oh, thank you very much. It's very kind. Uh, we'll see how whether I end up in court due to uh, not giving the prize out to the right person. But I'm going to have to we'll have to do just a little bit of uh, totting up. But uh, the idea was to try and make the uh, make it as real time as possible. I didn't want to do multiple choices. That was anyway. good. But anyway, well uh, and also, well, thank you very much, Matt. And also, thank you to Gaz and Robbie for finally making it on. And with the yes! beard, the beard stuff, Robbie, I think you've dropped your uh, your beardy thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's ended up on a cable. Never mind. And this quiz has been brought sponsorship of Dusty Mitts. Yeah, Dusty Mitts. Get your Dusty Mitts. I don't know what Get he's... all the cack off yeah. your keyboard for Christmas. I don't know what he's had, but I want some of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. well, thank you, guys. And I will point out, I will be in touch with the winners. Uh, once we've totted it all up, as it stands, it looks like Wagyu is a clear winner, but I really want to check... Mm. Uh, what, uh, where we all are, but um, so there'll be a prize uh, of the GeForce software it's, uh, instrument or plugin of choice, and also the audio damage. Thanks very much to those guys for supplying us uh, with prizes and entering into sort of what was a fairly undefined and undescribed process. Uh, as to you all, and also to all of your our mm. listeners, thank you for all of you in the chat room. I hope it was fun. I am sorry that uh, uh, perhaps it didn't go perfectly technically, but this is a process. Next time it'll be absolutely brilliant. I, I was trying to figure out a way to make a scoreboard without waiting till all the questions came in for the entire <laughs> yeah. quiz all at once and having to mark that all in one go. So that was that was my thinking. Still a bit of tweaking to do, but thanks very much to everybody for joining and it's can been I, much fun. Nick, Sorry, can guys. I jingle uh, can I jingle us out with a beard on the way out then? Uh well I'm playing yeah you can what uh let me just see. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Happy Christmas. Goodbye, Happy Christmas, everybody. We're back Happy on January Christmas, the 8th. Everyone. Our next one is on January the 8th. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.